Debate over whether or not to fly a flag in support of the LGBTQIA community is front and center at tonight's Stockton City Council meeting. In last week's meeting, the City Council pushed the debate to tonight. So right now, we still don't know the outcome of that vote, but Jeannie Nguyen is in Stockton to show us how the LGBTQ community is responding to this today. Now that city council meeting started at 5.30 tonight and a lot of community advocates came out today to show support for the LGBTQ community. Now even though this decision was delayed by a week, many of the people here today tell me they feel positive that city council members will do the right thing. The symbolism is still pretty powerful and potent to see be raised up. As a proud member of the LGBTQ community, David Sangtai has hopes to see the pride flag flying at City Hall in his hometown. That is why he joined the San Joaquin Pride Center in rallying in front of City Hall today to make sure that hope becomes a reality. Apply pressure to our city council members and our Mayor Lincoln to uh, raise the pride flag for the uh, final week of June. This comes after the Stockton City Council decided to delay making a decision last week on whether or not to display the pride flag on city flag polls. During last week's meeting, council members Michelle Padilla and Michael Blower expressed hesitation. Our city is suffering from crime and homelessness and that's where our focus needs to be. Both Padilla and Blow are making it clear that they do stand with the LGBTQ community regardless of their decision regarding the flag. I, I don't want to see people discriminated against, but I also just don't understand why one group would would get a flag. But for James Patnode, he says these responses just make him roll his eyes. That's one of the oldest excuses in the book, in my opinion. Um, raising a flag is the bare minimum that a government agency or organization can do to show their support for our community. Today, he and other supporters showed up to City Hall to make sure council members know where they stand. We are citizens of Stockton, and we need to be represented just and have our humanity acknowledged in the same way that anybody else's is. Regardless of today's decision, the group says they will keep on fighting for their rights. The California Women's List also raised more than $1,000 for the San Joaquin Pride Center to help with their mobilizing efforts, just like their cause for today.